So welcome to part five. Here I've got one of the walls. And what I'm trying to show you here is I sanded the back of it. Like Boomer says, when you sand it, it gives it a little bit more tooth. And I also sanded the back of the brick sheet. Um, so after this, I'm going to laminate this wall to the brick sheet. Uh, and I'll let it dry for you know 18 to 24 hours before I take it apart. So this is the uh, glue that I use. It's evergreen canopy cement. Uh, good plenty of working time. And I just put it on the back and I smear it around with my finger and make sure I have good coverage. You can see right underneath my thumb there, I needed to, to cover that. Uh, don't put a real thick coat on. So this is one of the walls. This is the wall that's going to face back toward the scrapyard. Um, so again, the windows are just stuck in there. So let's tack it all together and see what it's going to look like on the layout. Okay, so I've got uh, all the walls laminated and the windows are trimmed out. The windows all fit into place. Um, the front wall, the door is going to be on. That's just temporarily tacked there uh, so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to take that off and, and show you how to build the the glass door but I did notice something I'm going to go ahead and point it out you know I, I'm not perfect you know, and I would say you know I work for Toyota and they believe in like 90% planning 10% doing and I should have planned this out maybe a little bit better but it's not that big a deal so in Oak Hill you notice how this is the commercial district here the sidewalk was wide until it got to the residential area and then it had this grass strip in there. And I think I've shown you that in photos. Well, I should not have done that until I built the building <laughs> because actually it should, the full width sidewalk should come out to actually not only past this, but to the past where that other little building is, the full width sidewalk. It's one of those deals that if I hadn't pointed it out, you never would have noticed it. <laughs> but uh, I will probably fix it. I'll probably cut the sidewalk right here and take off this strip, take this grass grass out, and uh, go ahead and make it, make it full width just because it won't bug me <laughs> in the future. Now, I didn't do it on the other side. The other side is, you know, where the gas station used to be, and there's actually, you know, it goes right into residential, but... They had a couple of little industrial, well, not industrial, but commercial buildings here, the restaurant and whatever that other building was, maybe a dentist office or a doctor's office or something. Um, so my next step is I'm going to go ahead and airbrush it because I, you know, cover up all the joints and everything. And one other thing I goofed up on, I told you I was going to leave the um, brick sheathing or like overlap. Well, when I cut them off, I did. I cut it here, and I did not uh, leave that overlap. It'll be okay, you know. Once I paint it, you're not even going to notice it. And you know, I'll put a downspout there or something. But uh, but anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and airbrush it, uh, the brick, and then I'll take this wall off and I'll build the um, metal door because I have to have I have to have it painted brick before I can uh, do that. You know. Okay, so based on this picture, got my hairbrush out, got my red brick color out, and I was ready to start painting. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I better look at some more pictures just to be sure that I'm doing the right thing. Well, this picture is black and white, but it looks like it's, you know, around my era. That sure doesn't look like a red brick to me. It looks like a more of a tan brick. So um, let's go get some more pictures. This picture can drive people <laughs> that are prototype uh, modelers to drinking because it looks like the end with the restaurant is a darker red brick and then the end of the building is a tanner brick and it almost looks like it's two different buildings. And you know it's not by the roof. So um, yeah, sometimes you just have to <laughs> make a decision and go with it. So uh, I'm not going to paint it the red brick, I think. So this is probably the best color picture I have. It's probably from the 70s, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go with this color. It sort of looks like a buff 
uh, color to me. So I have some Tamiya buff. So I put the rust color away and got the buff out. So XF57 it was. So got that brush out. Brushed it. Uh, it didn't take very long at all. Um, and so now I'm going to pop that front wall loose and uh, I'm going to figure out what color I need to paint the windows because I'll paint them before I put them in and I'll build that uh, front wall that glass door you know off camera and I think I'm going to do that in the next update I'm going to take this to uh, Princeton with me and work with it in the uh, work with it on the hotel room anyhow uh, so you'll get to see the the door being built in uh, next week um, <laughs> it's my plan now. I hate to keep dragging it on. Uh, but the building's getting close uh, to being done. So, you know, after I get the windows in, the glazing in, I can pop the roof in, figure what rooftop details I need to add, um, you know, any exterior details, downspouts, uh, vents, things like anything I see. Now, the restaurant had window awnings on all these windows but I'm not going to do that because I'm not modeling the restaurant they were gone uh, by the time it became a Western Auto so I won't put those on there so that's where I'm at so let's talk about my caboose for a minute so again uh, I told you I had a book coming uh, by Dwight Jones it's about the Baltimore and Ohio cabooses so this is uh, nominally a C27A Caboose. Now it's not exactly the same. You know, Blueford has to make them, you know, mass produced. Um, but it's numbered, you know, 904124 as a CNO caboose in this series right here. You can see they had an order of 160 cabooses or so. So the BNOs were numbered 904 uh, up through 093. So what I can do, I can get some BNO lettering and replace the CNO, maybe just replace the B actually if, if the lettering I get matches and I can change the last three numbers on the car to make it a B&O caboose. Again it's not going to be an exact exact match um, but you know it's good enough. Now there is a 3D printed version uh, a shell uh, but it's like 50 bucks or something just for the just for the shell. It doesn't include the frame, trucks, wheels, couplers, any of that. And uh, then I'd have to paint it and decal it and all that. So I think I'm just going to change the number on this and uh, and the lettering and call it good. Cause it's, a, it's a really good caboose. But you see the uh, Chesky cabooses had three windows on the one side. And that's the one that like Chalkathy has now that I've shown you uh, before. And on the other side, opposite side, it has that little like porthole window. So the windows don't match on this. But again, it's going to be close enough for me. Well, I'm in the hotel room and I have the windows um, installed and the doors installed. Um, like the genius that I am, I painted the roof, <laughs> painted the wrong side of it. <laughs> so I have to um, paint the other side when I get home, spray paint it. But uh, but anyhow, um, uh, it doesn't fit right in here. I got to trim it, and plus, I still don't have this uh, this completely glued here. So. <laughs> but uh, the windows are in. I chose a like a dark green to paint the windows, sort of complement the uh, the tan. And remember, the door and everything is they're not that high up because the sidewalk is really thick, <laughs> so it'll butt up against the sidewalk. Um, I get home this weekend, don't know if I'm gonna have much time. Basically, I'm gonna have time to mow the grass and walk the dogs and come back to work next week here in Indiana. Uh, so I don't, you may not see this for a couple of weeks. But I thought I would at least tell you that I am working on it, making progress. And the next time you see it, I will show you how to make these doors, I promise. So everybody stay safe.